Hello guys, welcome back to the news. This is Bliss Channel. If you are just joining us, please kindly do well to share and subscribe to Bliss Channel. And do not forget to give us a thumbs up. Sultan of Sokoto released powerful statement. Reveals how long it will take banditry to end in the north. There is no doubt this is shocking statement from the Sultan of Sokoto. Anyway, let's quickly see to the details of the report. The President General of the Nigerian Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs and Sultan of Sokoto, Muhammadu Sahad Abubakar III, has warned that it will take decades to address and eradicate the pervasive insecurity and banditry afflicting the northwest region of Nigeria. In his statement, he said, in recent years, banditry has pledged states such as Kaduna, Kalsina, Zamfara, Sokoto, Kebi, Kanu, and Jigawa State. This surge of violence has resulted in thousands of lives that have been taken and mass displacement, primarily affecting vulnerable population. He said these bandits often masquerading as headers, henchmen, have left a trail of destruction and despair. Speaking at the Northwest Peace and Security Summit held in Kassina State, Sultan Abubakar underscored the severe repercussions that banditry has inflicted on the region. He emphasized the urgent need for a coordinated effort to tackle this menace. Head on, the summit brought together traditional rulers, security agencies, and northern governors, all striving to formulate effective strategies to restore peace and security. The Sultan reaffirmed the commitment of traditional rulers to collaborate closely with security force and regional authorities. He acknowledged the formidable challenges posed by banditry and insurgency, but stressed the importance of unified action to confront these threats. According to him, he said, Nigeria, we must collectively confront this bandit because Nigeria are actually aware of the severe consequence of banditry and insurgency in our lives. However, it will take decades to fully overcome this issue. If Nigeria ever completely do, the consequences and the problems are evident to all the, all, all the nations. According to the Sultan, the summit aimed to generate practical proposal to significantly reduce insurgency, allowing citizens to resume their daily activities and businesses without fear. Sultan Abubakar expressed optimism that the discussions would yield actionable solutions to mitigate the ongoing crisis. 
The Sultan's remarks highlight the complexity and deeply entrenched nature of insecurity in the Northwest. The persistence of banditry has not only destabilized the region, but has also strained resources and undermined development effort. The call for a collective and sustained effort underscores the need for long-term strategies and the involvement of various stakeholders in the fight against banditry. The Northwest Peace and Security Summit represents a crucial step towards addressing the root cause of insecurity. It provides a platform for dialogue, collaboration, and the development of comprehensive measures to restore stability. As the region grapples with these challenges, the commitment of traditional rulers like Sultan Abu Bakr to work with governmental and security entities remains a beacon of hope for a safer and more secure Northwest Nigeria. And so the path to resolving the insecurity in the Northwest is fraught with difficulties and will require unwavering dedication and collaboration. The Sultan insight at the summit serves as a reminder of the enduring impact of banditry and the collective effort needed to pave the way for a peaceful and prosperous future for the region and the entire country as a whole. So guys, how do you see to this matter? Please kindly feel free to share your opinion on the comment section below. And do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to Bliss channel. Thank you.